Mondays with the Mako. We're back at you, San Diego in the house again. I got my man Kirby, Chad Kirby. You heard me talk about one of my favorite mentors millions of times, and I got him on the show finally. Chad, thank you, brother. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we're going to talk about public speaking. Uh, I'm going to talk about what Chad's doing with his new focus in his in his career and uh, I'm gonna let you guys go but I'm gonna give you guys my big three in the content we'll get Chad's big three today though for sure uh, curbs talk a little bit about this awesome event that we're at success con in San Diego uh, it's incredible it's it's a gathering of like-minded entrepreneurs that are just driven and want to be successful it's been just phenomenal being around everybody and feeling of their passion for small business and entrepreneurship. It's been great. What were we just talking about before we got on, on the video? Uh, we were just talking about the amazing experience that it's been for all of us to be associated with a software company. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And think about experiences you have in life and why you have those experiences and what brought you to that. I mean, the fact I spent six years at Infusionsoft and I absolutely love cherish and appreciate the relationships that were formed there and now that I'm no longer there I still have incredible people that I'm around like shark here who I get to spend days with just enjoying these relationships so just in your life's journey it's amazing the people that are put in your path you know it's it wasn't about the software brother no it was about, it's about the people, people. Yeah. Tell me about what you're up to now, Curbs. You're doing some cool stuff. Yeah, so I am right now, it's chadkirby.com, and what I do is I teach people how to effectively communicate and present so that they drive people to action. You know, Shark, so many people are like, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna explain stuff in my presentation. I'm not gonna ask anyone to do anything. Well, then you're wasting their time because if you have a presentation, whether it's just giving good content or it's just sharing new information, you have to ask people to do something with that content or information or you've wasted their time. And some people are like, well, I'm not a salesperson. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pitch anything. Well, you're asking people to do something. Yep. And Shark, you, you are always someone I appreciate being around because you ask me to be better. You ask me to do things to drive my business forward. And so those are the people you wanna be around. So when you're delivering content, you get people to do something with the content and they'll love you for it. Amazing, Kirby. It's about being the guide versus the hero, isn't it? Right, absolutely. Love it, brother. Um, so chadkirby.com, and I listen to 10 or 15 amazing presentations. Chad is probably my favorite. I'm looking forward to getting the video to go back and listen to it. Um, but a couple key learnings I want you to give um, the audience today on, on public speaking and, and starting off strong with your message. Well, the key to the public speaking is when you stand up in front of a group is how are you gonna get that group enrolled in your presentation? And it's not about you, it's not about what your experiences were, it's how are you solving their pain? So get them to enroll in what you're doing. And you can do that by sharing a story, sharing a picture, there's a lot of ways to do it. But as you prepare your presentation, think about how am I gonna get them enrolled in this experience? And then the second, make sure you're being you. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great speakers out there, but don't try and duplicate them. Be you. People love Jeremiah Sarkett for who he is. People love Tyler Garns and others for who they are. Be yourself and people will be attracted to you. And when you're not authentic, they're attracted to you for the wrong reasons. And you get frustrated and you're like, wait, why do I have all these people that I'm doing business with that I don't really like? Well, it's because you aren't being authentic and showing who you all. really are. Yeah, right? wow, Curbs. What, what mistakes are people making um, on stage today? Obviously, maybe not being genuine, not being true to themselves. What else? I, I think that people aren't asking enough questions. So people get up and they say, they tell the audience how to think instead of asking the audience questions <laughs> that will drive them to think that way. Let me, let me give you an example, Shark. If you were um, teaching a group of attorneys, and if you were to say attorneys are horrible at marketing, that's a true statement. Attorneys are known for being poor marketers. However, if you tell the group of attorneys you're terrible at marketing, they'll be perhaps offended or disagree yep. with you. But if you were to just ask them, how many of you believe that attorneys are horrible at marketing? They'll all raise their hand and they'll <laughs> enroll in it and they won't fight you, they'll be on your side. And you can Love say, it. how many of you think attorneys are poor at marketing? They'll raise their hand, you'll say like, wow, that's, yeah, I, I agree. And then you are enrolling the audience to be with you, stacking the odds of success in your favor as a speaker. Ah, that's powerful, you guys. Get the buy-in. 
Amazing Absolutely. curbs. I saw you do that yesterday a million times. Powerful. Uh, what's your big three? Three things that you're actually working on today over the next couple months that are priorities, your big three focus. Well, our big three focus, we have a big one focus. We have a boot camp um, in, oh, wow. in June, June 7th and 8th, nice. where we're, we're bringing people in and teaching them the methodology. And you can go to chadkirby.com and get information on that. And we're gonna teach them the methodology and then give them real experience to where they can apply it and actually make their presentations better right then. And not only make their presentations better, but by the way, you're gonna fail in the future as well, mm -hmm. but to know why it came up short, mm -hmm. correct it, and be more successful the next time. So we're, we're filling that event, it's really exciting, and uh, we'll be, we'll be do, holding, hosting that June 7th and 8th. So that's big one, you're getting ready for that. What's two more? Big two <laughs> is we're, I'm doing, um, it's, it's, it's managing, number two is managing my time to make sure I'm doing on-sites as well with companies oh, cool. and being able to manage the on-sites um, that I have coming up this month. Staying so I, balanced. Yeah, staying balanced. So I have the boot camp, staying balanced with the on-sites. And number three, making sure my family's not suffering in the process. I love my kids. I've got nine of them. Love my wife, Cassie. She's a amazing and making sure that they are always at the forefront of everything you guys you see why he's so important to me that energy right there about just the fatherhood piece hits me right in the heart especially with Vic and with that said uh, we're gonna leave you with with just a, a little bit of energy for Pete Pete we love you uh, we're praying for you and it's about people and I've got the best job in the world to be around these people awesome shark thank you brother Absolutely. thanks guys have a great week go dominate <laughs>